America has a banking problem. The Fed is flooding the economy with cash, but no one is borrowing enough to soak it all up. And as a result, the economy is barely grinding out growth. We wanted to know what's going on from inside the banking industry, so we invited one of its most successful CEOs. Here to speak truth to banking is Bank United's John Canis. John, good morning to you. By my count, John, uh, since you got into this industry, you've seen no less than five recessions already. So far. And if we dip into another one, it'll be number <laughs> six. I want you to talk to us about what's going on inside banking these days. What do you see happening? What's the relationship between banking and the economy? And how bad is it relative to what you've seen before? Remember, Eric, since banking's become such a popular subject, uh, the, the industry is severely bifurcated, right? There are five banks uh, in the United States that control a majority of the business, the, the big five that we all talk about all the time. And, and those banks make money a thousand different ways and have a million different risks on the books and, uh, and are deemed by many people to be too big to fail. So it's been widely publicized what's going on there. The bigger part of the banking industry are the 6,000 community banks that are spread out across the United States that for the most part reflect the communities that they live in. And it, so the result is that many of the communities that they live in today are doing very poorly. The, the economies in those communities are, are growing very slowly if they're growing at all. And so those banks are suffering from a lack of demand for loans. Most people, and I know it's popular today to talk about how it's tough to get a loan from a bank and certainly some people had difficulty and ruined their credit uh, during this downturn, and it made it difficult for them to borrow. But for the most part, if banks can't make loans, they can't make money. Okay, that is a key point that you're raising, because as you say, many people talk about the difficulty in getting a loan, but from where you sit, the CEO of Bank United, a big player in the Southeast, people aren't asking you for loans. Yeah. Is that really the case? We are the largest bank in Florida, and I can tell you that we spend 95% of our marketing budget trying to advertise the fact that we're in the lending business. Now, we're, we have started to see a bit of organic growth in Florida, at least Bank United has, and we, had, we did three or four hundred million dollars worth of, of loan growth in this last quarter, but it's a result of us pushing very hard, and unfortunately in Florida, it's a result of some of the other banks uh, that are doing quite, quite poorly because they went through this, uh, this uh, recent downturn and were highly exposed to real estate. But it's, uh, it, it, is, it is, for the most part, the, the central point of every banker's objective today is to try to get people to understand that we're in business to make loans and, and we'd, we'd, we'd like to see more loan demand. John, John, you were speaking uh, about demand for financial services and the fact that it's more about borrowers not wanting to borrow as opposed to the banks not lending. So I'm just wondering, when do you expect to see a pickup in loan demand and how long do you think these smaller banks can survive in this situation? Many of the smaller banks were badly wounded during the downturn in, the, in 07 and 08 and are in the process of slowly building up their balance sheets again. Some are doing quite well. Others, particularly in areas where real estate continues to uh, falter in the United States, are still stumbling along. And, and quite frankly, we're losing banks at a pace that no one is comfortable with. Uh, so the FDIC has had a busy year the last couple of years. Uh, we, we're hopeful that, that uh, a resurgence in the, in the underlying economy uh, will help to bolster these banks. But frankly, we're not seeing any evidence of that yet. John, you told us a few minutes ago that Bank United is stepping it up in Florida, where you're the biggest bank, uh, because some of your rivals have been weakened by the recession and the financial crisis. Uh, however, the Fed told us just a couple of days ago in its regular senior loan officers survey that banks across the nation are getting more competitive with each other. In fact, they, call, they talked about aggressive competition. If that's the case, what's going to happen to bank profits? Uh, well, th th that Especially is, with interest rates near zero. That is the point. While, while bank balance sheets are in the process of building, the market is looking through that process and seeing that because of this lackluster loan demand and because of all the, all the uh, uh, pressure on margins as a result of this increased competition, bank profitability is uh, troublesome in the future. And, and uh, uh, we're all having a difficult time looking through to see where, where the sort of the metrics that, that we're accustomed to seeing in, the, in this business uh, will ever return. What, 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 do you, what do you think is reasonable? Let me put it that way. If margins are going to be under pressure, uh, if it's difficult to go back to 20% ROE, 
what is reasonable for the next five years? Uh, the, the, the common thinking these days is one in ten. That is a, a sort of a one percent return on assets and a ten percent return on equity is, is defines a high performing bank. Now, I, I entered the business in 1971, and that was the definition of high performance in 1971. By by 2004, uh, it was 20 percent and two percent. But, but frankly, I think if you roll back the clock and, and average out all the way back to 1971, I think this industry has always made one in, tw one in ten for the, for the entire period when you consider the ups and downs. And, and just a quick one then, do you think that it, the industry will change, the landscape will change, it might become more consolidated, consolidated I should say, that these smaller banks will uh, present uh, attractive acquisition opportunities for the medium-sized guys? Yeah. Now, th there's, there's a great deal of talk about consolidation in the banking industry over the last year. Uh, I expect that that talk will continue. I expect that there'll be even some consolidation. But so far, it's been more talk than action. Uh, oh, the, if economics, if economic activity in this country doesn't pick up uh, soon, then it, it becomes quite clear that we have far too many institutions. Uh, where we'll end up three or four years down the road is really a function of, of uh, how strong the economy gets.